Let's set up an iOS device as a live video feed for Unreal Engine for virtual production. Now to use this, you're going to need to install NDI tools and the NDI plugin for Unreal Engine in advance. There is another video for that. I'll link that in the description. So at this point, I've already got NDI tools installed on my computer and the NDI plugin is installed in Unreal Engine. I'm on a PC using Unreal 4.25. So after those are all set up on your iOS device, you'll need to install the NDI HX camera application. So this is uh, on the app store and at the moment it's uh, $19.99. I have occasionally seen this on sale, but uh, once you have this app installed, your camera on your phone will be able to feed into your network over NDI. So since I have uh, NDI tools installed, I can go ahead and fire up studio monitor take a look at my iPhone should be feeding video over the network right now. So let's say burner phone, NDI HX camera, and let's get this up running and flip the camera. And there we go. So there's my live camera. Maybe I'll zoom in on my little Lego figure there. All right. So that is the live feed from my iPhone. So it's called burner phone and then open parenthesis NDI HX camera close parenthesis. So we'll need that on our NDI setup in Unreal. So let's get that going. So in Unreal, I've got my new project set up. I'll create a folder by right clicking, choose new folder here in content. I'll call this iPhone, double click to go inside. We're gonna need an NDI receiver. So right click media and NDI media receiver. Again, that was from that plugin. I'll call that iPhone, uh, iPhone input. All right, that's ready to go. Double click, make sure we have a texture for that to load into. So create a new asset, NDI media texture 2D. We'll call that iPhone texture. And that is now good to go. Unfortunately, I forgot to aim that at the right folder. So I'm gonna close that. I like to keep it in the same folder as the NDI. So here's my iPhone texture here. I'm just going to drag and drop that over to iPhone and move it into there. Thank you, Unreal. So now we have these th two things together. We'll uh, create a plane to put that texture onto. E to rotate and go 90 degrees, 80, 90. W to move this over into the middle of the scene. R to scale it up. Let's see. Right click, middle mouse, scale that up. Uh, there we go. Let's click on this player start, hit W and pull that back so that when we start up our level, we'll be looking right at that plane. Very nice. Okay. So we'll drag and drop that texture right onto the plane. That'll generate an iPhone texture material. Very good. And I just like to get rid of this shine by double clicking on that material and changing this to being an unlit material. And we'll just scroll down the material selected. Here it is, default lit. We want to change that to unlit. And we just need to connect the RGB pin from the texture to the emissive color. Save that and close. Now we've gotten rid of that shine. Finally, uh, we just want to be able to start this up pointed at the iPhone whenever the level fires up. So let's create an actor to catch the uh, event begin play. So blueprint class and actor. We'll call this iPhone startup. Drag that actor out into the scene so it'll get the event for a begin play. Double click that actor. We'll go into the event graph and right mouse drag so we can see the event begin play. We'll need a component for the NDI phone input. So we'll add a component, type in NDI and we want a receiver component. We'll call that iPhone receiver and we need to connect this empty box to our iPhone input so we'll just drag that right there and now this component is connected to this asset drag the component out into the blueprint from the output pin we just drag release and we'll need to start the receiver so typing in the word start under NDI IO start receiver very good and we just need an in connection information so we know where on the network to get that startup from. We'll search for a uh, find, find network source by name under NDI IO. And now we've got that. And this is where we need that name. 
burner phone space open parenthesis NDI space edX space camera close parenthesis that should find our camera so we'll take our workflow event begin play goes into finding the uh, network source and then from there we're just going to go into our start receiver and maybe we'll just select all of these and hit C to comment them as iPhone startup okay so let's get that to be lowercase we should be good to go compile all good save all good let's uh hit play see what we get in theory our iPhone will start oh no killed the figure all right so there is the Lego fig he's sideways so let's just correct that we'll uh, hit stop E rotate this 90 degrees and then R scale this out to a little bit more like 16 by 9 and play again and there is our live video feed that's how we get an iOS video feed live into Unreal Engine hope this helps until next time have fun